In this lesson, we're going to be updating your channel icon and channel art. So here on YouTube, this is your channel. And right now it's pretty boring. So the first thing we're going to do is add some channel artwork and change your profile icon. So to adjust your profile icon, if you click the little camera button when you hover over the profile image, it's going to t tell you that you edit this on your Google account. So just click edit and it's going to take you to your Google account. So from here, you can upload a photo. So let's find a photo of me. I got some headshots that I've used in the past. So here I'm just going to upload this headshot photo. And this is going to be my icon across the board. Now, in terms of what you want to choose for your profile image, I would choose something like a picture of you if it's a channel about you, a personal channel, or your logo if you are a brand. Now I'm going to click Done, unless you want to crop it there. And now this should save. So we're going to go back to our YouTube channel. Okay, so notice how right now it hasn't updated. It might take a minute or two for it to update. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and look at customizing our channel art. But first I wanna just talk quickly about what you should be looking to do in your channel art. And I'm gonna use myself as an example. So here's the channel art for my channel. You can see that I have my image here. I have my name, a couple words about what this channel is about, and then also my logo. Now, the reason I have my name and my logo is because this channel actually originally started out as the Video School Online channel. I've noticed over the past few years, and especially since I launched this course the first time, that there's been a move towards YouTube being a place for your personal brand and not necessarily your business brand unless you are a full-blown business with lots and lots of different people. So me as an solo entrepreneur with my own business, Video School Online, on YouTube, it makes more sense to try to grow a channel that is the Phil Ebener channel than the Video School Online channel because people on YouTube are trying to connect with individuals. That's what they want. They want that connection with people. And that's why I've seen all kinds of people who have big brands name their YouTube channels as their personal name. Some things and strategies I've seen in channel art that works is including things like the schedule of your videos. So some people will say weekly videos or new videos on Tuesdays or video, video tips on tip videos on Tuesday, tutorial vlog videos Fridays or something like that. So that when someone comes to your channel, they automatically see and, and know what your channel is about. And that's really the goal with your channel art is for them to know what it is about. So even though um, someone might come here and say, okay, well, this is Phil Ebner. Who is this Who is this guy? With this text down here, video, photo, and business, you'll know what I'm about. If I didn't have this text, maybe I would just include images of like video production or photography stuff in the background. So how do we create our channel art? First, you have to cl click customize channel. And this is going to convert this channel into a customizable channel similar to mine. And you can see when I do that, our profile icon is automatically updated as well. We can take this menu on the left in and out if we want. Next, you're going to click add channel art. All right, so we can go ahead and just upload photo if we have one, but it's a very specific size of art and placement of art that you'll want to use. So to get a template or for more instruction, click this how to create channel art button. And this has actually some more instructions and a template. So if you scroll down, get images for channel art. Where is this template? There's a template somewhere. Here we go. So if you drop down image size and file guidelines, if you download this channel art templates file, it's going to be a zip file with different images in it that you can use 
Um, so let me go ahead and open that up. So once you open that up, you have a PNG file. This is great if you're using any sort of photo editor or graphic editor, you can add this and use it as a template or there's an actual Photoshop file if you want to use Photoshop. Now, we're not going to use Photoshop. I, I use Photoshop personally, but it is a little bit advanced. So we're going to use another tool called canva.com. I'll show you really quickly how easily it is to create channel art here. Here I'm logged in to my Video School Online account and you can see all the different types of graphics I've created. I've actually used canva.com to update my YouTube channel art recently, as you can see here. And you can see here how the dimensions and the template come in handy because here I was able to use the template to know exactly where I should place this text and this image in this large sort of screen. And over on the left hand side, you can see all kinds of different templates that you can get started with. So I'm not going to show you exactly how to use canva.com here. There's lots of different tutorials on YouTube or Udemy or wherever to learn canva.com. But here you can see that I can just go through some of these and there's some pretty cool templates to get started with. You do have to be a little bit careful about the text and where it's positioned. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time to um, get started. But, but really quickly, even though I'm not really gonna show you exactly what to do, if you're, you sign into Canva and you just type in YouTube channel art and click YouTube channel art here, and then pick a template. So I'm just gonna pick one really quick. I'll rename this Phil Ebener, and then I'll change this to learn how to YouTube. For example, we can change the background to like a color. So I'm just going to delete that. And for the background, let's just pick something a little bit cool. So I like this blue color, something like that. Now I'm just going to download this really quick by clicking download and download. I'm going to do a JPEG download that file. And then once this downloads, we're going to upload it to our channel. Okay. So I'm just going to click add channel art. Now this one has downloaded. So we'll call this channel art, put it on my desktop. Now I'm just going to upload that file. So whether you've created a file yourself in Photoshop or in Canva, you upload that file here. There is a max file size of six megabytes megabytes. Once it uploads, you do have a chance to kind of preview what it looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's not, the screen isn't that big, but you can kind of see what it's going to look like. You can adjust the crop, for example. Maybe we want to crop in so that just this black part shows, or I might have to go back and actually edit it so that um, this bar, this black bar is a little bit bigger, unless you like how that looks and then just click select and then it's added to your channel and that's how you get started with customizing your channel art. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll help you out um, and we're, we're gonna move on to customizing your channel.